since yesterday I've been meeting with all of the big city mayors and, and I'm pleased to say all of the mayors were, were here. Um, Mayor Rollins from Dallas, Mayor Price from Fort Worth, um, Mayor Polk from Lubbock, uh, Mayor Marco from El Paso, uh, Mayor Aller from Austin, Mayor LaRossi. Mayor Harry. <laughs> Mayor Harry. <laughs> Mayor Harry from Plano. Uh, then the mayors from uh, Corpus Christi, Amarillo, uh, San Antonio, uh, and Katie and Sugarland were also all here and, and just left. So I want to thank them all for coming. I think we, part, we talked about, in particular, the importance of establishing a partnership with um, leaders at all levels of government, establishing a very positive relationship with the state of Texas uh, as, as we move forward and with other components, the business community. Uh, we heard from a number of legislators today. Uh, we heard from uh, some, uh, some of my key business leaders, key chamber today, and people that are working in Austin on a, on a regular basis. But there are certain things that are critically important, the economic growth of, uh, of, our, of our state, uh, recognizing transportation is important, uh, education is important, uh, infrastructure, um, all of those things that are critically important to moving our state forward. We also recognize that pretty much the economic engine lies with the municipalities, with the cities. And it's all about delivering positive results. And there are just a lot of positive things uh, that are happening in all of our cities. And I think I, I overlooked Mayor Williams from Arlington. I don't, certainly and, don't want to. And Nuremberg from San Antonio. And Nuremberg from San Antonio. Don't want to exclude any of them. All were present today. But let me just start by saying all of us want to extend our heartfelt prayers and thoughts uh, to uh, the families of those who lost uh, loved ones in the shooting that, t that has taken place in Santa Fe. Uh, we certainly uh, want to extend our condolences and our prayers uh, to all of the family members. And then, again, extend our appreciation to the first responders and others who have responded to that, to that incident. And again, as it points out, uh, there's a great, just too much violence uh, that exists um, throughout our country uh, at every level, simply too much violence. And I know a number of uh, the first responders and others from Houston are down in Santa Fe as we speak. Uh, the fire chief, the police chief, people from OEM, uh, from the health department, and a number of others are there now. So we're going to continue to take a, um, to monitor that situation and, and, and provide the resources down to Santa Fe, whatever they may need uh, in dealing with that particular crisis. Um, let me stop and, and take if there are any questions, anything that any of you may have uh, to any of these mayors that are here so we can get them uh, on their planes and heading back to their respective uh, locations. Questions or comments? Okay. Any comments? From Mayor Rollins, you're here from Dallas. Come on, come on. Well, thank you, um, Mayor Turner, for what you've done. Um, we are very proud of the state of Texas and what uh, the cities do to contribute to our growth in the future. Uh, on the other hand, we're, you know, cautious about our future because we've got to deal with education and the funding of that and making sure that we've got uh, uh, the training for the workforce for the future. Uh, and I think we spent a lot of time uh, talking about that. A lot of school districts don't report to mayors, but we understand how important it is. And so um, whether, uh, it's very ironic, we talk, we're talking about that and then these school shootings are happening. And so uh, we've got to figure out uh, how to deal with this uh, terrible um, issue that we face. So uh, all I can say is uh, go Rockets, and uh, we're rooting for you, okay? All right? <laughs> Mayor Price, why don't you come on from, from, from in fact, a uh, comments from uh, each one of you. Mayor Price from Fort Worth. Good afternoon. I just want to reiterate what Mayor Turner said, that our hearts and prayers are with the folks of Santa Fe today, and we will all be there. We had great discussion today talking about the miracle that is the Texas economy and how much cities are driving that. But the reality of it is every city is a little bit different, but we're so much alike and there are so many big issues that we can tackle together. We can work with our legislators, we can work with our citizens to help make it the quality of life and the quality of place where they want to be. 
be, from education to infrastructure to jobs for their children and for them. So we're working together to see how we tackle that and continue to grow this great state that we all love and our own individual cities within that. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Allen from Austin. Mayor Turner, again, thanks for the invitation to, to bring everybody gathered together. I think it's important uh, when the mayors of the, the 15 largest uh, cities gather together. And I think one of the most important takeaways is that, because you don't see it very often, this is a bipartisan group. Uh, there are mayors here of, of both parties, and quite frankly, there's some mayors in the room, and I'm not sure which party they're in. And you don't see that happening in political conversations because the interests of cities are in actually getting things done. Uh, the people expect their local and their city governments to, uh, to perform. So uh, it, is, it is refreshing and, and important to be with a, with a group of, of leaders uh, that are leading in behalf of the community without regard to, to partisan uh, politics. Uh, all standing together to recognize, as, as the mayor says, that all cities are different and what works in one city might not work in another city. Uh, but we need to strive to let communities decide what it is that is best in, in, in their home areas. Uh, and I think we're all joined in on that, and it's a, just an honor to, to be here with this group. Thank you. Hey, Harry from Plano. <laughs> <laughs> That's La Rosalier, in case you're wondering. Uh, thank you, Mayor Turner. Again, thank you for the hospitality. Um, I heard it said yesterday that uh, we're, as mayors, we're nonpartisan, and on our worst days, we're bipartisan. And our dialogue and conversation over the past uh, day and uh, uh, last night and today uh, emphasized to us that um, we are pretty much in agreement the key issues facing us as we continue this Texas magic, as Mayor Price talked about, is uh, education, transportation, and you add those two together and it leads to job creation. And so we will, uh, I think we've all pledged to work together to continue to uh, find uh, the best solutions to help the state of Texas, our individual cities and the state of Texas progress. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Marco from El Paso. Thank you, Mayor Turner. It's again a privilege to be here and echo the same sentiments of my fellow mayors. As a mayor of the sixth largest city in the state of Texas, the 19th largest city in the United States, and the only city in Texas with its own time zone on the, and the largest on the U.S.-Mexico border, we're all kind of unique. We represent different, uh, different styles, different communities, and uh, different thought processes. I think the main thing we talked about was, again, edu reiterating education and jobs are critical, but also that, as Mayor Adler said, decisions are best made at the local level. With all due respect to our legislature in Austin and in Washington, D.C., the best decisions are always made at the local basis, at the local level, where our citizens can determine where their tax dollars go and what, what services they desire. So again, thank you. It's an honor to be here and look forward to uh, continuing our dialogue throughout. Thank you. Mayor from Lubbock. So I'm here. I, I came in on horse, by the way. We all ride horses in West Texas. and, and uh, no, I'm here representing the, the giant side of Texas, uh, where the food and the fuel and the fiber that you guys all enjoy comes from. It's, uh, it's wonderful to be in Houston. You're, you're a great host. Our, our, our hearts and prayers go out to the folks in Santa Fe. I, you know, you might think or you might ask, what do Houston and Lubbock have in common? And there's a lot we have in common. We're, bar we're both part of the greatest state in the union, but it is about good jobs. It's about education. It's about government that works, that doesn't get in the way of business. And uh, I, I just, we, we've had a very productive last day. We look forward to getting together again. Thank you. Thank you all and safe travels. Thank you.